Okay, in this problem, we are going to find the area enclosed region bounded by the intersection of two curves, y equals 0.2x squared and y equals negative x squared plus 10x minus 16. We're going to round to three decimal places and we're going to use our calculator to find any intersection points. So the first part of this is we're going to want to draw this out. Um, so let's go ahead and, and graph these two curves in Desmos. So I've got Desmos ready to go here. Um, and the first one was 0 0.2x squared. Um, and then the other one was negative x squared plus 10x minus 16. And we want the region where these two are bound. So here and here they intersect. And so we want this region in between there. Let's go ahead and snip that so that we can have a drawing. Um, I'm just going to copy that and then I will paste it over here. So we want to find the area bound by those two curves. We want to find this area here. Okay, so that means that the blue line is the upper portion of it. So the blue line is the upper portion of it. The red line is the lower portion of it. Um, and so we are going to take the blue line and we'll call that, let's just rename this. Let's rename this to G of X and let's rename this one to F of X just for easier sake. So this is G of X and the red one is F of X and let's take G of X minus F of X. That's going to give this height here. So that's going to give the height g of x minus f of x. Um, to find the area, we would then need to multiply it by some width. And let's say that width is dx. Well, of course, when we have a dx, then we need to integrate. And we are going to integrate from those places where they intersect. So the first intersection point is 2.16. And the second intersection point is 6.174. So we are going to integrate from here to here. Um, it says you can use your calculator for any intersection points. It does not say use your calculator for the actual integration piece of it. So let's go ahead and um, let's start working out this problem. So we're going to integrate from 2.16 to 6.174. Um, G of x is negative x squared plus 10x minus 16. And then we're going to subtract 0.2x squared, and of course, we are going to integrate this all with respect to x. Um, now we're going to want to do some simplifying. So when we do some simplifying here, um, we are going to subtract this. So really, we're going to combine like terms. Well, when I subtract 0.2 from already a negative 1, I'm going to get... Um, negative 1.2x squared plus 10x minus 16 dx. Now, just for a second here, let's talk about why we did that. What we're really doing with the, the integration piece of it is we are finding the area by choosing a height, and that height was our g of x, which was the blue line, minus f of x. And we multiplied that height by some width. And that width is dx. It's dx because by making it dx, we can make it infinitely small. And the smaller the width is, the more rectangles we're going to make, the more accurate our, our number is going to be. So um, let's go ahead and continue this integration process. Well, when we integrate, we're going to increase our exponent by 1 and then divide by that exponent. And so this becomes um, 
we, oh, we're not going to have that integral symbol anymore because we're actually integrating. Increase it by 1. So negative 1.2 divided by 3. Well, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this is going to be negative 0.4x cubed. Increase this by 1, it's going to become a 2. Divide by 2, this is going to be plus 5x squared. And this is going to be minus 16x. And we need to evaluate from 2.16 to 6.174. Now, that piece of it, let's go ahead and, oops, <laughs> sorry. That piece of it, let's go ahead and put into the calculator. So I'm going to grab that calculator again, uh, move it off to the side a little bit so that we can see, and you're going to plug in your upper bound first. So let's say we have negative 0.4, our upper bound is 6.174, and that is to the third power, plus 5 times 6. 0.174, and that is to the second power, minus 16 times 6.174. So the first piece of this here is going to be negative 2.330, negative 2.330. And then we'll subtract our lower bound. So let's go ahead and plug in the lower bound. And I'll just go ahead and replace these numbers here with 2.16, 2 2.16, 2 oh no, I clicked the X button. Okay, well, I guess we'll start over. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like these videos are just so long because I'm fighting with my calculator. Okay, and then we get negative 15.263. So negative 15.263, and then we will um, actually subtract these. This uh, double negative makes a positive. And so we will have um, negative 2.330 plus 15.263. And we get 12.933. So we get 12.933. And there we have it. So let's go back just for a moment and recap what we did. We were asked to find the area enclosed between these two curves. We graphed the curves and in using that graphing technology, we were able to find the points of intersection. Um, we figured out which one was the top curve and we subtracted the lower curve from it. And then we integrated, plugged in our bounds and we found that the area um, bound by those two curves was 12.33.